so apparently I got cut off. Um, don't know where I got cut off and kind of sucks since I'm still new to this. Uh, so I went back and looked and it sounds like uh, it's talking about those college football athletes that might need some extra help. But, you know, I was just saying that they, they have a name that they can utilize. I play football for such and such university. Let's have a conversation. I can go to school for four years, do well, get a degree, go apply for a job. I might get hired, I might not. Let's face it, it's all in who you know, and I hope these guys make those connections right now. They deserve it. Um, but it still stinks that we don't have a season in the Big Ten. Um, like I said, I'm glad baseball's here. It's been nice to uh, to enjoy that in the evenings. But the other thing that it's been... COVID's affected, I guess, if you could say that, is high school football as well. And I don't know what your state's doing. Pennsylvania right now, they're continuing with a full season. Um, obviously, being from Ohio, I follow them quite a bit. And Ohio has put together a six-game schedule and is allowing everybody to participate in the playoffs I don't understand why uh, you're allowing everybody in the playoffs. It's just like I don't understand why baseball expanded the playoffs to 16 teams this year, this year only. Uh, I hope they don't move forward with that next year and beyond. Uh, I think it's stupid. I think it's just, I don't know. We're going to have a team in there below 500. It's like the bowl games. You have 72 teams in bowl games right now. Nobody wants to watch five and seven Buffalo. Sorry if you went to Buffalo or you're a fan of Buffalo. Uh, fair warning, I'm approaching that big hill again. And yeah, so anyway, Ohio, six games in their conference games, which is fine. But my high school, Maslin, uh, Maslin Tigers, we're not in a conference. We are an independent high school, uh, not a private school, public school. Um, but we choose who, when, and where we want to play. And uh, we're one of five high schools in the nation with over 900 wins. Well, we'll hit 900 in week one this year. Uh, rivals McKinley, over 125 years of playing them. And this year, uh, we were supposed to play uh, Bishop Gorman out of Las Vegas in week one, uh, one of the top high schools in the country. Uh, supposed to be on ESPN, and obviously that all got changed. So we picked up a school from Columbus, uh, Pickerington North. Uh, they are one of the top Division I teams in Ohio. Uh, they have the number three prospect in the entire country. Uh, 16 and a half sacks as a junior, 15 touchdowns as a quarterback that same year. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing him in scarlet and gray next year. So because of that, oh, and that game was supposed to be on ESPN as well. Um, because of this new schedule, that game got bumped. So uh, I don't know what my high school is doing. It, it's kind of crazy to me. Um, I get... There's concern over the health and safety. I mean, that's why professionally we have moved uh, events to virtual. It needs to be done. And it just thinks that it's affecting so many things other than just the games themselves. Um, these kids' livelihoods. You know, a lot of these kids that play high school football or high school track or cross country whatever and they excel in it that's how they go to college college is expensive we know that whether you went and paid your way took student loans or are a parent of a college student now god bless you it's expensive and if you can get a scholarship 
by all means, take it. So, I don't know where I was going with all that. Seasons are canceled. Things are happening. The NBA is pretty hot right now. The Suns, holy crap. 7-0 in the bubble. I think it's the other thing that bothers me is the 8-9 seeds. If they're within two games of one another, they're playing a best of three series. Ah, whatever. It's 2020. Make up the rules as you go. Um, so, recap of today's conversation. <clears throat> I don't like traffic. Uh, I'm an introverted extrovert. I want to talk with you. I want you to ask me questions. I want you to make me aware of new things. Um, I'll reiterate from yesterday that I want to help you. So if you have a cause, put it out there. Uh, I know I've seen one right now and I got to go look at the video. But Mended Hearts, there's going to be an auction for them coming up. So look them up. Uh, Deafness45 is doing a fantastic auction with them. Find out what they're all about. And if you feel like supporting them, do it. Um, but definitely thank that man for doing it. Uh, I know Jimmy Guns is doing another auction. I can't remember for who it is right now, so I apologize to them. <clears throat> but again, if I can help you, let me know. Um, continuing the recap, uh, technology. What's your stance on technology? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you utilize it uh, certain times of the day? And why don't you use it? Why do you use it? Um, in canceled seasons, you know, like I said, Big Ten, Pac-12 canceled theirs. Well, postponed, I guess. What's your thoughts on those? I'd be interested to hear uh, how you feel about these extra play-in games and all that fun stuff. But it's hot and. I'm almost home right now, so I'm gonna end it here. I uh, certainly appreciate all of you. Uh, again, not sure the next time I'll talk with you, but I'll find some time. But catch me on Twitter, at uh, ESHacker. Uh, same thing with Instagram and Facebook. Find me there, Eric Hecker. So you'll have a nice day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.